Gamerspawn has been checking out your wishes regarding Battlefield 3, and now we have a general idea of what people would like to see. The idea of this video is simply to give feedback to DICE's development team and implicitly ensure Battlefield 3 will offer the best experience for everyone. We'd like to thank everyone for contributing with feedback and ideas. With the introduction now covered, let's get started. A lot of people have been asking for a higher player count, or a player count on par with the PC version, with consoles getting 64 players, although it may be technically challenging. And of course, PC players not to be outdone, ask for 128 players, as it has been stated in an interview with DICE that technically it is possible to go up to 128 players, but it wouldn't be fun anymore. Obviously, this couldn't be a war game without guns, and what you, as part of the community, want is even more guns. Quite a few people have been asking for a massive arsenal of weapons, too many to choose from. Besides the enormous amount of weapons people want, it's inevitable to ask for some kind of customization option, preferably more complex than it was in Medal of Honor or Bad Company 2. A good idea is to have options like deployable bipods for light machine guns and sniper rifles, giving a gain in accuracy. So after clearing up the gun issue, let's move on to what makes Battlefield special. Vehicles. A Battlefield game as designed by you would have interactive damage to vehicles, blowing off wheels of a Humvee, immobilizing it but still letting you use its gun. Indeed, this was a matter also discussed on EA's UK Battlefield 3 forums, receiving a generally favorable reaction from the community. Let's be honest, who wouldn't want to immobilize a tank by blowing its treads off? Get out! Big maps are also a trait of Battlefield, and while the maps in the last Battlefield title, Bad Company 2, were huge in comparison to other first-person shooters, people think they felt small and very linear. I want to see bigger maps in Battlefield 3, about the size of Battlefield 1942's maps, like El Alamein. Hopefully there will be enough vehicles to use on the maps and a lot of bases to capture, maybe four to five in conquest mode, at full player scale. Battlefield 1942's El Alamein is frequently given as an example, as it always offered great battles. Maybe DICE will even consider remaking that map, given how many people have mentioned this map. Not only on our channel, but in the rest of the community. Dynamic time of day and or weather during a multiplayer match is also among the things some would like to see. Although its appearance may cause the game to be even more hungry for your gaming system's resources, it would make Battlefield 3 feel even more realistic, gritty, and visually pleasing. A chain of command is needed, so think the players. Commanders, squad leaders, and squad members, as in Battlefield 2, are a hot topic inside the community. Users argue these things are all needed, being crucial in making gameplay more tactical, while not subtracting from the fun. Better communication is key in winning, so voice over IP support is a must. Besides that, there should be a method of communication that everyone can use, even if they don't have a microphone. The communication rows should be brought back, as the community argue it was an efficient, fast, and simple method of communicating and quickly relaying info to your team. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm fucked up, but I'm up. No. RPG, my 12! Second floor! Stay away from the floor! Full body awareness is one of the things people also ask for. The ability to see yourself, your limbs, feel like you're actually there. Of course, with this should include a slightly more realistic damage model. Getting hit in the legs making you unable to sprint, or getting hit in the arms making it harder to aim steadily. Regarding the character appearance, people want some creative freedom and allow for character customization, similar to what we can see in the upcoming Battlefield Play for Freeze beta. A slightly odd request was to be nothing like Black Ops. Well, we think this has been covered from the get-go, Battlefield 3 staying true to its roots and legacy. 
64 players, jets, prone, a PC development base. All these are signs that BF3 will be a great game, standing out in the crowded FPS genre. Mod tools are another hot topic inside the community, and while these may not get released, users ask for at least a map editor. And if not a map editor, at least a sandbox mode like Battlefield 2's sandbox mode or Halo 3's Forge to allow for a bit of creative freedom and user-created content. is a big yellow truck. Sometimes we pretend that we get stuck in our sandbox. Do-do-do-do in our sandbox. Of course, we all know Battlefield is filled with epic moments which people may want to share with the world. Bring back the battle recorder is what the community is shouting out. A theater mode like Halo Reach and Call of Duty Black Ops to relive the epic battles to allow for easier creation of videos and machinima. Difficulty in ranking up is another issue, as a lot of players complain that it was too easy to rank up in Bad Company 2 and would prefer something closer to Battlefield 2, albeit not as difficult, as it could take literally years to reach the rank of Lieutenant General for someone who doesn't play on a regular basis. Lieutenant Colonel or Colonel being highly respected ranks difficult enough to reach. In conclusion, we believe that with this we have covered a few of the hot topics around Battlefield 3, and we'd like to thank everyone who decided to make their voice heard. Hopefully, DICE is keeping an eye on things and will listen to the feedback you gave them. If you wish to do so, you can keep sending feedback in the comments section below. Make sure DICE hears the voice of the community.